In this video, you will see how to set up your own mobile device management server in a few minutes. Headwind MDM is free and open source, it can be installed on any virtual machine running Ubuntu Linux. The first step is to create a virtual machine. We will use a digital ocean droplet because their services don't require setting up a firewall, which makes installation easier. The preferable operating system for our server is Ubuntu Linux 20.04 LTS. For test purposes, you don't need a powerful virtual machine. 2 to 4 GB of RAM and 1 or 2 CPU would be enough. For the authentication, you can choose either a public key or a password. Public key is considered as more secure, but it's easier to use a password. It is important to choose a strong one. The virtual machine instance is created very quickly. In a few seconds you can access it by SSH. However, to make the connections more secure, we will assign a domain name to its IP address. The domain names are managed by your DNS provider. In our case, it's godaddy.com. In this video, we presume that your company already has a domain name. If you have no domain name, you need to register it for a small fee. In a DNS section of your company domain, you can manage the so-called A records for all the subdomains. For the MDM server, most users choose mdm.yourdomain.com. But in this video we selected the subdomain test.hmdm.com. While setting an ADNS record, use the IP address of your virtual machine provided by the cloud hosting provider. The subdomain becomes available on the internet within a few minutes. Use the ping command to check its availability. Once the DNS record becomes active, you can connect to your server by SSH and start setting up Headwind MDM server. These steps are done in accordance with the setup instruction published on the project website hmdm.com, section help, installation. First we download the Headwind MDM installation archive from the project website and install all required packages. Fortunately, all necessary software is available in Ubuntu Linux through the standard APT repository. After all packages are successfully installed, we need to create a database. Headwind MDM uses the PostgreSQL database. The SQL commands can be copied from the installation manual and pasted directly into the SSH command line. Next step is to unpack the installation archive and run the installer script. The installer will check and update the third-party software if required. You are asked for multiple setup options. You may leave the default answers unchanged. The only important answer is your domain name, enter it carefully. For better security, we recommend using the secure HTTPS protocol. Headwind MDM uses a free SSL certificate generation tool Let's Encrypt. The installer will schedule the automatic certificate renewal, so your MDM server could work without interruption. It will also automatically update the Tomcat configuration files, so the web engine could work with the secure protocol by default. The last installation step is the downloading the Headwind MDM applications to your server. Once the setup is completed, you can immediately open the Headwind MDM web console in the browser. At first start, enter admin and admin as the username and password. You will be prompted to change the password, choose the stronger one. The server setup is completed. The next step is setting up a managed mobile device through an enrollment QR code. 